Now the cold cases. It's been 31 years since a Pawtucket woman left her home never to return again. Her name, Wendy Madden, and the person or people responsible for her death have never been caught. 12 News reporter Kim Kalunian spoke with Wendy's family and joins us now with their desperate plea. Kim? Well, Shannon, we've spoken with Wendy's brother, John, multiple times. He's been relentless in his quest for justice. But now for the first time, we're hearing from Wendy's sister, who says the pain of her younger sibling's death has never gone away. Wendy Madden was the baby of the family, the youngest of three kids. Well, it's definitely uh, a void there, you know. But, um... Wendy's elder sister Charlotte has never spoken about the case publicly. But you get through it, you know. Grief doesn't ever go away. It just has its own compartment, you know. And I remember everything like it was yesterday. It was more than 31 years ago, March 13, 1991. Wendy's body was discovered behind a Pawtucket bar called Jan's Place, now a housing development on Middle Street. She had been strangled. Wendy had last been seen two days prior in the area of Cross and Railroad Streets, running an errand to buy cigarettes. Someone knows something. It's been 31 years. Back in 2018, we spoke with now retired Pawtucket Police Detective Sue Cormier, who had spent years poring over the case file and conducting interviews, hoping to warm up the decades old cold case. Quite close uh, to hopefully being able to present a case to the Attorney General's office. That was Lincoln Woods. I think that was back in 1973. Like Cormier, Wendy's brother John has spent the last three decades searching for answers. It would be very big for me, you know, and, you know, even if she wasn't my sister, it's like people shouldn't be getting away with things like that. John says Wendy rolled in some dangerous circles and may have angered the wrong person. Charlotte says Wendy was a beloved sister and daughter, but her killer robbed her of the chance to be much more. They had their whole life that she didn't have, you know, it's just... That's how I look at it. As far as I'm concerned, they got away with it. And maybe, maybe the person has a conscience. Finally, after 30 years, maybe this will help. And if, if she's in our minds and in our hearts, then she's not really gone, really. Physically, but not really, you know? And John Madden says he would like to create a memorial bench to his sister in the park near where she was found. If you have any information on Wendy's case, Pawtucket police want to hear from you. For more information on this and other cold cases or to tell us about one you think we should cover, just head to WPRI.com. I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.